Good day. Today, we will be discussing about the scientific method formulating hypotheses. Now, let's define what is a hypothesis. Hypothesis is an educated guess that can be tested. It is a testable statement or prediction about the relationship between two or more variables. We will discuss variables more when we go to our discussion. It is often formulated based on observations. We did the observation before, right? Existing knowledge or research questions. We also did the question and serve as the foundation for scientific experimentation and investigation. Examples of hypothesis, hypothesis from real life scenarios. Number one, predicting weather patterns and studying bacterial growth. When predicting weather patterns, hypothesis can be formulated based on various atmospheric factors and historical data. Remember our scientists? So the scientists or the the scientists, when it comes to uh, meteorologists, they are the scientists that look after the weather patterns and then from there they predict. And then how about the studying bacterial growth? When studying bacterial growth, developing hypotheses can help you, can help you explore various factors that influence growth rates and patterns, all right? What is the purpose of this? Is to investigate how nutrient availability, and specifically carbon sources, affects bacterial multiplication. When you say growth, means multiplication, all right? Take note of this. The students, yes, I'm talking about you, need to come up with their own hypothesis based on an observation you made last time. Okay, you did the the observation with the question, and you are going to use them for formulating the hypothesis. Example or examples of hypothesis in text. If I plant a seed in different types of soil, it will grow faster in rich soil. What does it mean when it comes to hypothesis? Okay. Your hypothesis is clear and focused when you say, if I plant a seed in different types of soil and it will grow faster in this soil, this is a solid starting point for an experimental study on plant growth, all right? So there will be uh, three kinds of variables, independent, dependent variable, and controlled variables. So we will discuss it later on. So, but now we will be focus, focusing on formulating your hypothesis, all right? So, then next one is, uh, this one is an infographic uh, photo that you can see the difference. Uh, if you have the different types of soil and then you will plant them, each of them a seed and then you will see which one will grow faster when it comes to rich soil. Okay, next one. If I increase the temperature, bacteria will grow faster. Yes, 
It is a common hypothesis in microbiology. However, the relationship between temperature and bacterial growth is nuanced, as different bacteria have different optimal temperature ranges. All right? So the same thing, you have to come up with the three variables, independent, dependent, and control. And we will discuss it later on. Okay. The next one. So this is also the infographic uh, photo of uh, your hypothesis. If I water my plant every day, it will grow taller. All right. So. It suggests that a relationship between the frequency of watering and plant growth, the watering is indeed crucial for plant growth. Other factors also play a significant role, right? So in this picture or uh, that you can see right now, so you put 10, 10 bean seeds per pot and then you have a two illustrations here and then the water and then without the water and definitely you will see the difference after some times that you watered the pot with seeds and the other one with seeds without the water and you will see the difference right so that's why you come up with this hypothesis of if i water my plant every day it will grow taller okay so now Let's go to your exercises or activity. So this is about writing hypothesis. On another blank page of your notebook, follow the format. Okay. Of course, you have to write the title, the scientific method, hypothesis. So you have to write your nickname, number, date, class. My hypothesis journal give a title the same thing that you uh, created last time write down your observation from earlier okay so you have to go back from your observation that's why i asked you before to make your, your, your own observation because you are going to use them again state your hypothesis based on your observation of course you are going to use your observation for your formulating the hypothesis also, the question that you created before, you are going to use this as well. Explain why you think your hypothesis might be true. Draw a picture or diagram to illustrate your hypothesis. Okay. I will give you the example. Example of hypothesis, you have the title, observation the same that you did before you just to rewrite them here and then the number three from the scientific method which is the hypothesis my cat prefers to sleep in a sunbeams because the warmth of the sunlight provides comfort and helps maintain her body temperature leading to longer and more restressful sleep of course, after writing your hypothesis, you have to explain further. Explain the hypothesis. This hypothesis suggests that cats choose to sleep in sunbeams because the warmth from the sunlight offers comfort and supports their body temperature regulation, resulting in longer, more restful sleep. It's just like a further explanation of your hypothesis because you will create a hypothesis, right? And then from there, if someone would read your hypothesis, they might think or ask how it could be. So you have to explain further in just a long one sentence, it's fine. You explain your hypothesis why and how, all right? So to give you more, uh, more, more, more explanation about this, I will give you another scenario or example. 
observation, for example, this involves noticing something in the natural world. Yes, going back, we are uh, learning about the natural world, scientific in the natural world, which raises a question, for instance, why do some plants grow faster than others? You may think when you walk down the, the road and then you see some plants are growing faster than the others. And then you can come up with the question, from your observations, you formulate a specific research question. For example, does the amount of sunlight affect the growth rate of plants? That's your question from the observation that you created. All right. It doesn't necessarily uh, a statement. Your observation could be a question, right? Hypothesis. This statement provides a potential answer. Remember, potential answer to your question, often formulated in a way that can be tested. Remember the definition of hypothesis? An educated guess that can be tested. Okay. For example, if plants receive more sunlight, then they will grow faster than plants that receive less sunlight. That would be your hypothesis. And for now, we will stop there, all right? And you can start formulating your hypothesis now. Thank you. And please don't forget to start formulating your hypothesis now. Make sure you make a new drawing related to the previous one. Take a photo and upload it on Google Drive. I will send a new QR code for this one. Thank you and have a nice day.